April 17, 1984. The day I visited Scott Griffith, I asked the cab driver to drop me off at a little grocery store nearby. I bought a cold six-pack of Coke, then walked the short distance to his apartment. It was one of the hotter days I've ever lived through, and my hair was short and white blonde. I had little trouble finding Scott's suite in the overlapping tangle of buildings. When I left, I hastily kissed Scott goodbye and scrambled down the metal staircase outside his door. I've always wondered what he did next. I try to picture it now and I'm a blank. Did he peek out his window until I disappeared into the nearest taxi? One thing is certain. He must have lit up another cigarette immediately. Perhaps he had to shower and get ready for work. Or maybe he set out to leave, even began packing from the moment I left.